Now the class of 2023 has a whole lot of excellent players. You have players like Mikey Williams, DJ Wagner, Bronny James, but in today's video we are talking about Mikey Williams and DJ Wagner and really why the rankings are how they are and really just both of their types of style of play. Now Mikey Williams obviously as many of you know is one of the most popular players out here. Now he's ranked 5th in the country for the class of 2023 and I'm not surprised about it. Initially he was at a school in California where he wasn't playing against the best competition that was San Isidro but they do have some players that were playing out there and of course in AU as well. He was playing under the Adidas circuit at one point and you're gonna find and play against excellent players in that circuit as well. Then. After that, he had moved, obviously, from California to Charlotte and played for Lake Norman Christian, which is another great school. And in this case, it was actually a better school than his previous one. Now, back in San Isidro, the season did get canceled over there, so he moved over to come and play. So he moved over to so he moved to Charlotte where he could actually end up playing there. Now at this new school, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think he's performing as well as a lot of people thought he would. Now the competition is for sure a whole lot better there, but I'm not gonna lie, he's trying his best. I think Mikey is more of a scorer at this point than a leader, but he's doing his best on the court. And they've been winning some of their games, but there have been other games where Mike only scores six points and people making videos about those trying to expose him. Now, at the end of the day, whenever you're switching competition and playing against better players, man, that it can happen. At the end of the day, you're not perfect and you just got to keep working. He's only a sophomore and has plenty of time to develop. Now, on the other hand, DJ Wagner from Camden, New Jersey, has been ranked number one for a minute now. I think this is no surprise because the competition that he's playing is ridiculous. He's playing against good players players night in night out and he's still holding his own and I think DJ Wagner and Mikey Williams definitely have opposite games I think DJ Wagner is someone who's a lot more quiet but he just puts in the work and stays focused on his game even in a recent video that slam had done about him he had said he doesn't really even like to be on social media and even if you look at his Instagram or anything like that he has no posts on there he doesn't even look like he uses it and he really just sheds himself and tries to focus on his game and really just tries to get better every single day now Mikey on the other hand is the complete opposite you almost see him on IG all the time and he really likes to make his game known and he likes to and he likes he likes the fame for sure now of course I think these are just both two different ways you can go about it but Mikey Williams I'm not gonna lie I don't think this is really the best move for him now if you see DJ Wagner he's not caught up in anything he even said in an interview he doesn't care about rankings but is much more concerned about just getting better every day and loving the game now I'm sure Mikey puts in that same amount of work and effort to try to make his game polished but Really being low key seems like it's the best move. Although people won't hear you as much in the long run, it's all about development and working on your game. But if that's the way he likes to do it, then so be it. Now I've seen this time and time again that people are saying Mikey Williams is overrated. Now I'm not surprised about seeing that because he has had his games just like anyone else. He's had games where he's only scored six points, where he scored no points in the first half and it looks like he's not really being a leader on the team and is taking a lot more selfish shots. Now, honestly, I think any player moving to a brand new school is going to try to hold his own, and that might just be Mikey's style of play. But personally, I think he needs to be more of a leader on the court for sure. And I think that's what separates him and DJ Wagner. I think DJ Wagner is just a player who likes to get his teammates involved and really just kills on the court, where a lot of times Mikey Williams seems like he's being a little bit more selfish, and his main goal doesn't seem like it's always for the team to win. It seems like it's for him to score more points. And at the end of the day, if you're trying to have a team that's trying to win championships or anything like that that mindset will never work you always got to put the team first and make sure if you guys are winning games that's the goal at the end of the day if you score 30 points or you scored 10 the w is the goal now dj of course is still ranked the number one player in the class of 2023 and i don't think that's going to change anytime soon man the competition that he plays against and he just puts in work and stays low key and i think that's the difference that is really a good thing reminds me of somebody like Kawhi. i don't think Kawhi is really on instagram or social media like that and he stays quiet and puts in the work and let his and lets his game really speak for him and on the other hand man mikey has his Mikey's really photographing everything he does and all of his moves, so I think they're just two different styles, but I, mean, I kind of like DJ Wagner's style, I'm not gonna lie. 
Now, I don't think Mikey Williams is overrated, and DJ is definitely not overrated as well. They're both excellent players, and they just need some more time to develop and grow, but it's definitely interesting, and hopefully one day they'll, them two will play each other because I think that'll be when it's really settled. Now, if you guys remember, even back in the day, there was a game where Camden was actually supposed to play Mikey's team, San Isidro, but it never happened. Now, Mikey actually went on social media and called out DJ and said that the team was scared to play him. When your coach tells ESPN that you're not ready to play me and your team has no interest in playing us because you're a young team, bro, you're ducking smoke. You're ducking gunshots. You're ducking gunshots, bro. I don't like it. It is what it is. What it is. You ran in three tournaments. We, we tried to schedule y'all in what, three or four tournaments and y'all ran it from every single one. Now that was a bold move, but you know DJ doesn't even keep up with social media like that. And odds are he probably didn't even see it until a while later. At the end of the day, DJ is not even the one who makes those decisions on who the team plays. But man, Mikey calling out DJ and with all that drama happening back then, that was an interesting move. But at the end of the day, that's what Mikey does. He see, like I said before, he's the type of player to make things known out on social media and wants eye, all eyes looking at him. While DJ is just low key like a Kawhi and just puts in the work and gets it done on the court and lets his game really speak for him. Now, it's really interesting that people say Mikey Williams is overrated because I've heard the same thing about Barani as well. Now, if you guys didn't know, Barani is a sophomore playing with a whole lot of seniors and everyone is looking at it for a time for him to develop and grow. He's playing against the best competition in California at Sierra Canyon, but their season does seem like it did get canceled. Now, they got a few games in for sure, but Bronny was only averaging maybe four or five points at most per game and a lot of people are saying he's overrated. Now, people point towards the fact that Bronny doesn't have that same type of drive like LeBron did because he's not in the same situation. Bronny's father's making millions, billions of dollars, and he really doesn't have much to work for. It seems like LeBron's back was put against the wall and basketball was his only way out. Now, personally, I don't think Bronny's overrated, and I think just like another NBA player, Gilbert Arenas, had actually said, Bronny's going to be one of the best players out here coming up. Now, as long as he stays focused and continues to put in the work, man, look at his genetics as well. His genetics, his father is one of the best players in the league, and he has a solid build. Not to mention, even think about Mikey Williams as well. His father was a college player, and DJ Wagner his father and grandfather were both McDonald's All-American. So we're all talking about basketball families. At what? Now we're all talking all about basketball families. And man, Bronny's definitely not overrated for sure. Now, I think when you play against such excellent players and such high competition, man, it's either you rise to the occasion or you get left behind, get left to get right. And in this case, I think Bronny is just continuing to grind and he's not going to give up until he really just solidifies himself as one of the best players out here. Now, of course, as many of you know, he was also deranked as well to the 25th position. But man, at the end of the day, like I said before, these rankings don't even matter. It's all about getting better every single day and making sure that you're doing the right things all for the court, like taking care of your body and doing all that extra stuff to make sure that you're in it for the long run. Now, Bronny should have no problem doing that because, of course, Bron has been playing for a minute now in the league and he takes care of his body and does what's necessary so they can make sure he can perform every night. All right, now you guys let me know. Do you think Bronny James, Mikey Williams, or DJ Wagner are overrated? And why do you think that DJ Wagner Wagner should still be higher ranked, should still be ranked higher than Mikey Williams. Just make sure you comment down below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, get a new notification every time I upload a new video. It's LNH Remote.